All right, so a few days ago, I told you guys about this Tesla discontinued power wall inverter that um, I was experimenting with to see if I could make it work with uh, non-Tesla brand batteries. And so far, the first day it was actually working, it was pulling power out of the batteries and working great. It'd power the shop back off the batteries and it was also exporting 6,000 watts from these batteries into the grid, which was kind of funny because the manual said it wasn't going to do that without permission from the servers. Uh, so then it just kind of quit. The next day, you know, it wouldn't it wouldn't work. It wouldn't pull power out of the batteries. It wouldn't put power into the batteries. Um, in fact, the first day I never got it to put power into the batteries, likely because they're actually fully, fully, fully charged. So it naturally it wouldn't try and charge them, right? probably thought they were too full and that's why it was pulling the power out of them um, but yeah day number two and three I uh, can't get it to work with the batteries so then uh, oh one thing one else one other thing that I learned is that it pulls power straight from the solar panels even with no batteries and no grid will send that power onto the shop back and it starts the shop back so this thing draws 1400 watts continuously and as long as I'm getting in over 800 watts it will start the shop vac, which has, by the way, a 6,000 watt surge. Even though this is only rated to surge at 3,400, it will still start the shop vac. And it will feed it all the power that it gets from the panels, which is enough to you know, keep the voltage up to 110 volts or something and actually make the shop vac sound lively and healthy. Um, it's not quite getting the 1,400 watts that it desires, but it's enough to run it, you know? So it's kind of like, at this point, it's grid tie, daytime inverter only. Now that it's not pulling any power out of these batteries. Um, I did get behind the passworded menu and I'll upload a video about that in a second. Uh, just to show you what's behind there and I don't really understand what's back there, but it doesn't look like it's going to help me. So, um... Yeah, it did surprise me a lot that this was able to start the shop vac, which had such a high demand for power, and yet, even though this was only getting 800 watts from the solar panels, it still started that thing. So it's got some capacitors in there. Good size. Uh, all right, over and out.